back to Inspired Messages. Today's segment is about the element of water. So let's dive in. The element of water is the protector of the body. It is feminine energy. Its symbol is a downward pointing triangle. The colors associated with water are blue, indigo, aqua, and green, and silver. The days of the week associated with the water element are Monday and Friday. The zodiac signs that are um, water element correspondents are Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. The water element represents fluidic matter and the cohesive principles of physics. Water protects the mouth against actions of chewing and the enzyme that begins the breakdown of carbs. Water protects the mucous membrane of the stomach acid that aids digestion. It stabilizes the flow of neurological impulses, protects the nerves, joints, and your respiratory system from the movement of breath, which is the air, because that causes dryness. That's what I always tell you when you, when you feel like your throat is dry, you need to get water because all that air movement causes dryness, so you need water. The tongue is the sense organ of water, which we taste. Our taste buds on the tongue only work when saliva is present. So if we don't have saliva in our mouth, which is water, then we have no water, then no taste. Water is associated with our dreams, cleansing, it is cleansing. It's our imagination, it's healing and our psychic power. Our earlier experience with water begins um, when we were in the womb of our mother. When, when someone has like their water element out of balance, it manifests as being codependent, being overly emotional, um, lack of touch, lack of self, um, lack of being in touch with self, and um, fear. So when you see women being clingy or men, because it's both, you know, men and women clingy or needy in relationships, that's a water imbalance. They're the water element inside of them, in them, is out of balance. It also manifests as fear. What happens with fear, fear becomes an, an obstacle to movement. Um, it causes anxiety and phobia and it manifests as like it's trapped energy. So whenever you are uh, you're afraid, you're in fear, your energy becomes trapped. And you can see this because um, what happens is the fear increases the adrenaline production, which increases your heart rate. It causes sweating, your muscles become tense, and a lot of times you'll see people start begin to hyperventilate because what happens that energy, you know, you have um, a poor flow of energy, so you can't breathe, you have difficulty breathing as well. A balance, um, when your water element is balanced, it manifests as being full of energy, you're compassionate, you're grounded, you're, intu you're intuitive, women especially, um, you be, your intuition increases, um, your emotional stability, your emotional stable, you have the ability to, ability to let things go, you're in control, and when I say in control, you have self-control, where you're not being so impulsive and being reactive to everything. You accept diversity, you're open to different ways of thinking and new perspectives. Tears are salt water, which is an excellent conveyor of our spiritual intentions. Our bodies are mostly water-based, so our entire being already resonates with water. This is why it is imperative, it is imperative to think positive thoughts, surround yourself with positivity, positive people and environments, and absorb yourself with love because water also has memory. It holds the secrets of our souls. So think, one thing that you can do to begin to balance your um, water element is to speak to yourself. Speak to yourself, especially when you're around water or you're in water, like washing the dishes or taking a shower. Um, 
I've had lots of transformational experiences and changes by just speaking to myself in the shower. And I know you can do the same thing. For example, if you're impulsive and you want to work on your impulsivity, you, um, while you're in the shower, you're saying this to yourself, I know I'm impulsive, I embrace my impulsivity, but I want to make changes to my impulsivity to make it better. I don't want to be so reactive. I want to be less reactive to things. And you know, you apply the same concept to if it's a part of your body that you want to change, then you say what you're going to do, if you're going to exercise to make the changes, whatever that needs to be done. But just don't say it. You have to put action into it. You have to be consistent. And I guarantee you, transformation and changes will begin to take place. What do you want your water-based body to remember, to know, to feel, to imagine, to dream? Water is all around us and part of us. Take a look in a river or a lake. What do you see? Water reflects back what is. It is a mirror helping us to better see our true nature or true colors. If you do not like what you see in the reflection or the mirror, then it is time for transformation, to shift your shape and become more malleable and adaptable like water. It is time to purify your thoughts, to imagine being in bliss, to tune into your self-expression and harness the feminine, receptive, energetic vibration of the water that is part of you, that is part of me, and that is part of the universe. Thank you for stopping by Inspired Messages. This is Goddess Nini, and I hope you received a message to elevate your soul. Please like, subscribe, and share. And until next time, one love.